If you are looking for an easy way to grow an abundance of tomatoes like this, then look no further than the Kratky hydroponic system. In this video we are going to show you one of the simplest ways you can grow tomatoes in Kratky hydroponics, covering the basics of how this system works and discussing some fundamental elements like tomato cultivar selection and fertilization. We are going to begin with a quick explanation for how Kratky hydroponics works. If you would like to jump straight into the setup of the system, then skip to the timestamp on your screen now. This is the simplest hydroponic system, making it ideal for beginner hydroponic growers. This is how it works. The plant is placed in a net cup over a container full of nutrient-rich water. At this time, the roots are just barely touching the water. As the plant grows and the root system develops, the water is depleted at a rate so the tips of the roots are just barely in contact with the water. The rest of the roots not actively absorbing water are instead absorbing oxygen. By the time the water levels are almost completely depleted, the plant should be ready for harvest. And as such, just one big water supply at the beginning of the growing cycle is enough to supply the plant until harvest time. So to get started building your Kratky hydroponic system, you will need 20 litre black buckets like this. Make sure they are food safe. Do not use clear buckets. Any light that enters the buckets will encourage algae growth, which we don't want. We use shop bought seedlings of the Floridade tomato. This is a heat tolerant, disease resistant variety which is perfect for our hot summers. You will also need some net pots, expanded clay pebbles like this leper, and a drill with hole saw attachments. Start by drilling a hole into the center of the lids. This hole should be just smaller than the circumference of the widest part of your net pots. Next, we need to drill a drainage hole. Measure two thirds of the way down your net pots and drill a hole into the side of your buckets that aligns with this length. This will promote fresh air flow through the upper root system of your tomatoes, which is essential for healthy root growth. Now check your water levels with your pots in the holes. The water level should reach a few centimeters or one or two inches up the height of your pots. Now we can prep our seedlings for hydroponics. First add a layer of liquor to your pots, nestle your tomato seedlings into the liquor, then fill the pots with liquor to support the tomatoes. It is as simple as that. The last thing you need to do is add fertilizer. We use three different fertilizers, a complete mixture with nitrogen, phosphorus, potassium and other minerals, magnesium sulfate and calcium nitrate. Based on these fertilizer recommendations, for 20 buckets like this we needed 10 grams of each fertilizer. Because calcium nitrate can precipitate when mixed directly with the other fertilizers, we first dissolve the MPK and magnesium sulfate. To maintain proper concentrations in each bucket, we fill them with water about two thirds full. Then we dissolve 10 grams of the MPK and 10 grams of magnesium sulfate and poured it into the buckets. Then we dissolve 10 grams of calcium nitrate and added that to the buckets. Lastly, we fill the buckets to the drainage line with water. Now we can finish up by adding the lids and popping the tomatoes into the buckets. This is really such an easy system to set up and we can't wait to see how it grows throughout the season. Towards the end of the summer we will make a full video from start to harvest and discuss some more important aspects like trellising, pruning and pest and disease management. So make sure you subscribe to our channel if you want to see our results. Thank you for watching and we will hopefully see you in the next video.